We are making carrot pasta sauce. This recipe is very simple. It only uses a few ingredients. The flavor is amazing. I'm using two medium onions, diced in about a quarter of an inch. Five to six carrots shredded. I will be using the fruit processor to shred my carrots, but you can very easily use a hand shredder. And that last ingredient is some vegetables or chicken stock. We will use it to add some moisture if our carrots need it. We can start by dicing the onions. What I find best when dealing with onions is to cut them in half before you peel them. This allows us to get at the layers. Also keep track of the root end which keeps the layers together. We want to start cutting on the opposite end. You can also pre-cut your onions so that when you cut slices off, they will end up in dice. Peel your carrots and cut off the ends. In the food processor, we want to use the shredding disc. If yours doesn't have one, use a hand shredder. The idea here is to keep the carrots consistent so that they cook evenly. In our pan, we want to start with equal parts oil and butter. I find that this combo has the best results. Butter adds flavor to the onions and the oil raises the burning temperature of the butter. Win-win. We want to cook the onions on a medium heat. Our goal is to get the onions translucent. This way they remain sweet. Once the onions are translucent, we could add the carrots. I season as I go. I find that I get a better result this way. It's best to be conservative with your seasoning. You can always add more salt later. One thing to note is you need to adjust for the type of salt you're using. Table salt is ground finer and a pinch will go a long way. As rock salt, you will need to use more as the grains are larger. There is a difference in taste when you season at the end. Sometimes the seasoning has a hard time penetrating, especially when working with foods that have crusts. Carrots will take a while to cook. Keep an eye out on the moisture and add stock if it gets too dry. We are going for a thick but smooth consistency. You will know when they are done once the sauce becomes smooth and sweet to taste. If you find this video helpful, please let me know by hitting the like button. This is where we need to season to taste. As for the pasta, I like to serve this over bow ties. Feel free to use any pasta you like. I always salt my water and keep the water at a rapid boil. Add the pasta and cook for the recommended time. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments. Any feedback is also welcomed. I add butter to keep the pasta from sticking together. I would like to invite you to check out my other videos. 